Hi and welcome to my math class. Today we are going to do contingency tables. Now usually these tables will be given to you and they are fairly easy to read. The only problem that most pupils do is they don't know what is their final denominator. So when you have that the probability of an event is the probability of an event is equal to favorable outcomes over total outcomes, they forget what is their total. The total outcome is the total of the entire, entire event, which means that it's always right in the corner on the right hand side. That is usually the most common mistake. But other than that, it's not really difficult. You know the formula. As long as you know the formula, you're okay. Then what you need to know is, how do I read these tables. If I'm saying there was a survey of three sports done with 300 learners, the options were as follows. So we know the survey was between cricket, soccer and basketball. Now between cricket, soccer and basketball, we also decided we're going to compare males with females. So when they are talking of the probability, the most important thing to remember is that my total is over 300 which is given right in the beginning. If it is not said in the statement in the beginning, then it is in the corner right at the bottom where it says total and all the totals are meeting. Right now, when they say you choose a boy or a male, right? Where is the total for the males? If I look, this is the males that play cricket, this is the males that play soccer, this is the males that play basketball. But the total is 158. So if I want the probability of choosing a boy, I know my probability formula. It is P of E is equal to the favorable event over the total. So what was my favorable? My favorable is 158 over what was my total? 300. Can you see? You just need to see what am I talking about. Now. What is the probability of a person who plays cricket? Now, when I'm talking of the probability of a person who plays cricket, I'm talking of the total. So I'm looking at cricket, but I'm looking at the total. So the total amount of cricket players is 94. So my probability would be 94 over 300. What is the probability of a male who plays soccer? So I'm looking at the males and I'm looking at soccer. And where are they covering? Where are they coming out? They're coming out together at 57. So male and soccer, the probability is going to equal to 57 over 300. Now, this is an interesting one. Look at the next one. It says, what is the probability of one that does not play soccer? The probability of does not play soccer. Now we can go and we can see how much is the cricket and how much is the base basketball. Or we could simply say 1 minus the probability of soccer is 67 over 300. Which means the probability of not playing soccer is equal to 233 over 300. Okay, now let us look at the last question. It says, are the events of being a female and playing soccer are they independent now let's go back to dependent and independent you had done this before if you go if you are not familiar with this go back to your previous videos and then you will see we had discussed it when they are independent then PA times PB is equal to PA and B but when they are dependent then PA times PB would not equal to the original of PA and B if you look here, right, what is the probability of being a female? The probability of being a female is 142. So we have 142 over 300. The probability of playing soccer is 67 over 300. Now what is the probability 
of being a female and playing soccer. Female and soccer is 10 over 300. Now let's take the probability of a female times the probability of a soccer. So the probability of a female times the probability of soccer is equal to 10 clearly see that it is not the same. When we said p of a times p of b, it was not equal to p of a and b. So therefore they are not independent. Okay, so what would you write here? You would say the events are not independent. Now look, I am not saying it's dependent. Can you see? I am simply saying the events are not independent. I am answering their question. You must not just say it's dependent because even though the statement says that if they are not equal, they are dependent, you are not allowed to say it. You must simply say they are not independent. Thank you for watching.